I am Jaakko Juntunen, the head of EM applications at AWR Finland. I will briefly go through a design project carried out together with Pulse Electronics and Opteni Limited of an LTE small cell base station antenna. Here we can see the initial prototype geometry of the antenna. So if I make the visibility of the radiator patch off, then we can see more clearly the antenna structure. So it has two feeds, port 1 and port 2, and each of the, the feeding lines are supported by a narrow slab of FR4. The Geometry of the antenna is such that a, a true 3D simulation is necessary, so we can't model this assuming a layered uh, structure, mainly because of the, the finite FR4 slabs, and on the other hand we can also include, say, plastic posts or whatever finite dielectrics that might be present in the problem. So if we look the, the initial measurement and simulation results of this antenna. The solid blue line is the measurement uh, reflection, me measured reflection coefficient at port 1, and the dashed line uh, represents the, the simulation result. So from these results we can see that uh, the, the antenna is uh, inherently well matched for port 1 at the operating frequency, whereas the, the matching for port 2 is not really good. And so to improve the design and to improve the, the matching and primarily to improve the efficiency of the antenna, a matching circuit was designed for port 2. And for designing this matching circuitry, the software OptaniLab was used. And so OptaniLab takes in the raw S-parameter data, and then it, in, a, in a matter of seconds, it synthesizes the, the best matching circuit for given topology. The matching can directly be applied on certain vendor libraries, in this case Murata capacitors and inductors, because they were available at, at Pulse for creating the prototype. <coughs> and so the, the design was fine-tuned when, when we had agreed upon the topology, such that we have a, a three-element matching, and so the layout was slightly modified for port 2, having ports for the, the serious elements and then for the, the parallel shunt capacitor. Uh, because there is some change in the, the geometry, change in the, the effective feed position as compared to the initial optimization task, then this modified model was then re-optimized using the optimization algorithms in AWR. <clears throat> so taking into account uh, also the, the presence of the, the EM structure and, and the port configuration in, in this, this schematic. So and it, it turned out that uh, a, a best result was, was achieved by slightly changing the, the values suggested by the, the initial ideal matching. And if we go and look how the results then look uh, with the, sorry, this is without, and then we have with the matching component. And so the magenta curve now pretty neatly goes through the center of Smith chart and we can also observe that the, the, the simulation and measurement results agree pretty well. If we go and uh, 
look a little bit also on the, the radiation pattern. So we can first we, we may look the the finite element mesh that was used by the problem and then we also can overlay the 3D radiation radiation pattern over the, the structure. So this is now for the feed at port one. And so it is easy then to spot the, the, the magnitude and the, the direction of the of the radiation pattern, the black backlogs, uh, the position of the zeros, and so on and so forth. Of course, canonical uh, major plane cross cut radiation pattern values are, are available, but the 3D plot gives kind of a quick quick view of the overall radiation performance of the antenna. Thank you very much for your attention.